What's happening, everyone? It's TV, and we are back in Roblox Bed Wars. Today, we're going to be doing Doomspire Brick Battle. That's right. We're going to be making a new map in Bed Wars, and this is going to be so much fun. I can't wait. So if you are familiar with Brick Battle, it is an old school game on Roblox. And how it works is typically you have a rocket launcher, and you got to take out each other's bases and knock everyone into the void. Technically, you need to like knock their spawns into the void, but we can't do that in this with rockets. We can't do that. So what we're going to do instead, we're going to blow up each other's bases. Let's go. Oh, yeah. Yeah, don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already. Let's get into it. So the reason why I'm on this alt, by the way, if you didn't watch my last video, I'm out of map slots. Like this is, I okay, this is like one of the few, I got two left on this one. I'm already full on my main. The devs need to add like a game pass for us. This is so cool. I love this whole setup. Okay, so what we need, we need a couple of maps that are really, really cool. And the way I think we're gonna do it is we need to use the void. I think this is the perfect map for it because it's a void. Gotta do the void, let's go. Now, if you haven't watched my previous videos, definitely go do that with the maps. So like I've got four maps out already. I'm going to be making lots and lots more. That's, I mean, I my alt is best Bed Wars map builder, okay? You got it. Okay, there's other great map builders, all right? And in fact, what we're going to be doing pretty soon is I'm hosting a contest very soon here on my Discord server. If you're a map builder, get on my Discord server, discord.gg slash dbplays. I'm going to be doing some prizes and stuff. So it's a great way to win some Robux so you can, you know, pay to win in Bed Wars. I mean, who doesn't want to pay to win in Bed Wars except maybe? Maybe a couple free to play content creators. You know who you are. But yeah, so anyway, let's let's get to this. Let's get to this. So let's go and start our match. And now what we need to do is remember the problem is I reported this bug to the devs. I don't think they fixed it yet. But deathmatch time doesn't really work right now, so be really careful. Um let's go and turn off PvP because we don't want to die to anything weird. And what we're gonna do is let's go and get some balloons. So spawn, balloon, infinite. We also need our diamond pickaxe, so we need to get that because that helps us a ton. I also like to get um, telepearls whenever I do stuff. All right, so this is my kit, right? This is my build kit. So what I want to do here is we're going to make four bases. And I wish there was like a copy and paste tool. That'd be really cool, but it'd probably crash the game. But we're going to have to build a bunch of bases. What I want to do is I want to use the colors of these bases as the kind of like brick battle. Um, I'm going to show you a screenshot of Doomspire brick battle real quick. Actually, you know what? Uh, I'll show you some gameplay of it. Why don't we just show you some gameplay instead? So this is Doomspire brick battle. Now there's a couple new versions out there. There's like... Super Doomspire, which is actually a lot of fun if you haven't played that version. It's a lot of fun. But this this is the classic one, and you can see there's four bases here. It's it's just like this game. Like they have the same colors pretty much, except you know, slightly different. And then you got like the the bridges between the bases and stuff. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna do the same thing. So we're gonna make bridges above these. Now, one thing to note, um, you have an option to like just do a timer for bed breaking. Um, we're not gonna allow players to actually bed break individually because it just wouldn't be very fair. But what you could do is you could just adjust the deathmatch time if you want it to be like a five minute match for you know being able to kill each other and stuff and then after five minutes you have one life left you could do that whatever um for me i'm probably gonna set it to like 10 minutes but let's go and get these colors together so we're gonna spawn wool blue infinite we also need spawn wool yellow infinite we need all the colors we need all the colors oops all right so we got blue we got yellow we got all the colors so how we're gonna do this we gotta create a bridge um so let me get up here i'm just gonna use like uh glass for now and we're gonna go straight up in the mid so this would be like middle right here the middle i mean it's close enough yeah that's that looks like the middle so we don't want to go i mean let's figure out what the top is on this map did they give us the ability to like wow these regions are really 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 high wow like how high how high can we go we can go all the way up here dude since when dude that's fantastic okay well this this is even better it's even better than i thought all right let's go down a little bit all right so we're gonna do the bridges here and so we're gonna meet all the different colors oops this has got to be the right colors so we're gonna do you know, let's switch this stuff for shears. Spawn shears. Um, Because wool is going to break faster with shears. So we're going to do the colors here. So I remember which colors we're going to do. And then we need basically like that. And so the hard part is making this. I got to count. So this is fun. So I think we're going to go 15. That's a pretty good. That's a pretty good length on it. Let's see. Okay. So if I had a base, I'm shooting at their base. This is a perfect distance because we're going to be using care cannons. And because we're going to be using care cannons, you don't want to be like unable to break each other's bases, you know? All right. So. So now we're just going to make this a little wider. So I'll probably do like from here um, to over here. Um, actually, I'm going to step it out like this. All right. It looks pretty good. Let's go and fill these in with glass real quick. Just in the middle. It looks pretty cool. It connects it at least. So we got our bridges. We can add a little bit like borders so people don't fall off. Like me. Dude, I just fell right when I said so people don't fall off. Dude, come on. All right. What a coincidence. Now I can use the, um, if you're wondering why I'm not using the set position stuff, it's just so much easier 
here. Like by the time I do all the commands and stuff, I could have all the blocks out. Those are going to be good for when I start building some of these walls because some of these walls are going to be massive and I don't want to have to do that. So yeah, we'll do that at that point. All right. So we're actually going to, uh, for our shape of our buildings, we're going to do kind of like um, square towers. So this should be pretty easy. So why don't we do something like this? This is five. So let's go like seven by seven. So that'd be actually we'll go nine by nine. So if I go right here, I think I could just go uh, set flat nine. Wait, what's the command? I think it's like it's edit flat. Yeah. So edit flat wool yellow nine. That was that was easy. We'll do that here. So five edit flat wool blue nine. Oops. Edit flat wool blue nine. There we go. Man, that's such a nice shortcut. And then we're gonna do the same thing here. Edit flat wool red nine. And same here. Edit flat wool green nine. Now of course we're gonna make like a ladder system throughout here. So um, it's gonna be pretty easy for them to get around. I'm just gonna put some borders here for our top of our building. I hope I'm the first person to ever do the Doomspire build. I really do. It's so cool when you're like, you come up with something like this and you're like, dude. And then the downside, the most embarrassing moment is when someone else does it and then people think you copied them. That's the worst. It's happened so many times to me. I'll like do something and people are like, oh, you copied. It's like, what? wait, what? And you gotta deal with all the people like raging at you. All right, we just have one more top here. So obviously the difference between my map and Doomspire is Doomspire has physics, so things collapse. This one does not. So people can still kind of like jump around, but you're going to be like knocking them with your rockets. It's it's going to be much more knockback oriented, but the splash damage is going to be pretty big. Um, also, you can take people's um, floors out, which is going to be pretty cool. They also don't have any blocks, so that's going to be important. So they're going to have to like stay alive. Um, what I'll probably do though is I'll set everyone's health to be like maybe 500 or 1,000, some, something crazy so they can kind of like go around and shoot. We'll see. We'll, we'll, have, to, we'll have to test it out. All right. Now, one thing that's kind of cool about um, Doomspire is they do have like these bases, buildings. We got to add that. So they had these types of buildings. Remember, if, you, if you've ever played Doomspire, you know what I'm talking about. This is like the entrance. And then you got like the little antenna like that. Man, you know what? I'm, I think I'm going to do something. I'm going to change something here just for... Um, I kind of want to make this a bigger base. I feel like this is a really tiny base. I'm looking at some references right now. We got to expand this out a little bit. The inside's fine, but I think we needed to go like 15, not 9. So I'll, I'll see you on the flip side when I correct this. All right. So each tower is kind of rebuilt. You can see what it looks like so far. Oh, I can't. I can't. I can't free cam right now. Oh, well, that's okay. I guess free cam. Free cam's off right now, I guess. But you can see it looks pretty good. So now I just need to build the rest of the tower. So what we're going to be doing is so obviously we have different size floors. This is going to be a little different than say the actual um, Doomspire Brick Battle maps because I got to get pretty creative with this. So what I got to do is I got to get to the center of this, which basically means I've got, what is this? This was like 15, right? 15 and then to the center is eight. So it's basically 23 out. So let's go and drop down. We got to do 23 out. So this should be directly above right now. I got to test it. Hopefully I'm right. Okay. It looks like I'm wrong and I'm not sure where I screwed up on my math, but I think it's because, oh, I know why. I know why. I know why. I forgot to count this part. So I was like, my math is wrong. So I forgot. I, I started from there. So it's one. Two. Okay. So it should be right here. It should be right there. Okay. That, that should be centered. And the easiest way to find out is just fall through there, fall down. Yeah. Perfect. Okay. So that is the center. So what I'm going to do, this tower is going to be smaller. So I'm going to go probably six less. So we're going to go like nine blocks again. I think that makes sense. But the difference being is we want to be pretty high up. Like we don't want like massive towers. So let's go up like at least 10 or, you know, we'll go up. Yeah, we'll go up like, uh, yeah, we'll go up like maybe 10. Yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah, 10. 10 perfect. All right, there's our nine. And now we got to do the rest for these. So we got to count these again. So we only need to do 12. All right, so our bases are done. Now we need to basically create this whole tower. So we got to create the floors as well. Um, floors are going to be a little bit more challenging for sure. I kind of wish we had like the ability to do um, copy and paste, but that's okay. We'll just we'll just kind of power through it. So we're going to do five blocks up and then we're going to do a floor. You know, I'm going to change my plan a little bit. We're going to make these rooms bigger, but we can keep doing what we're doing. We're just basically going to remove one of the floors. So every other floor we're going to remove. So one thing we want to prevent is players, like if you spawn on a team, we don't want them like going to each other's bases. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a bunch of magma here. I should have PVP off. Okay, it is off. So let's go ahead and center us. And we're just going to do a bed of uh, magma. Let's see how, how many do we need to do. It looks like this is 17. So, all right, there we go. Perfect. Now, the only question is if you, I reset, let me go and just reset real quick. Am I going to spawn on the magma? That would suck. Yep, I did. Oh no, and I'm suffocating. Okay, so it looks like we spawned here. So I got to fix this a little bit. So we're going to do five by seven. Actually, we're going to do 
three. All right, that should be good. And the main reason why we want to do this is we really don't want to have a scenario where people are like, I'm going to go run over to their base because we're going to put a staircase up here so you can get to um, to your bed. Um, or not not to your bed, but to back to your um, back to your tower. So let's spawn our wool back. We can get rid of this. Spawn shears. All right, there's our first ladder. Now, this is the first thing I would probably attack. So, hmm. Yeah, I don't think I like this, but we'll leave it. We'll leave it. Okay, I figured it out. I figured it out. What we're going to do is we're going to use bedrock because carrot cannons cannot break bedrock. All right, so now for the fun part, what I'm going to do is I'm going to seal all of these up except for the front of the actual base. So let's go ahead and do that. So we're going to set positions. So there's position one and oof, here's position two. And then we're going to edit set wool yellow. going to lag a bit. There we go. Look at that clean wall. Let's set such a time save. So epic. So I wonder if, can we reuse that though? That's what I want to know. So if I go and edit POS one, can I just use this again? Oh no. What did it do? No. What did it do? No, dude, it didn't work. Oh, you know why? I think it was top left. Oh man, I messed that up. Oh, well, that's all right. It'd be cool if the devs actually set like edit set air. That would have been nice. Oh, rip. I kind of feel like the easiest way to handle this is rockets. All right, I'm going to try something a little bit more precise. You know, I just had an idea. What if I set everything again to just glass? Let's try that. Except that I got to actually do glass, not wool glass. Hmm. See, all it did was fill in. It just replaces the blocks. It doesn't actually work. Shoot. All right, we got to use the carrot cannon. Oh my gosh, dude. It's too powerful. Rip my building. It's okay. I, I kind of messed up. All right, let's finish the others and then we'll do that one last. That thing's horrible. All right, edit POS2, set red. And now we got to go back up. There it goes. I got to do this side and there we go. All right, so these walls are done for this building. And this is a bit of work. This is definitely a bit of work. We're going to do this one in a little bit. Let's do these. All right, green building is done. That actually went really fast. This one should be just as fast. We'll do the back one first. There's our blue back wall and there's the side wall and we just have one more side wall to do. There we go. Boom. So let's go ahead and do the yellow now. This is going to be a bit of a pain, but not too bad. All right. So instead of doing these beams, this time I'm going to do something a lot easier. So we're just going to set position here. So edit POS one. Then we're going to go in this corner. We're going to drop down. There we go. There's our wall. There's our back wall. It's almost done. I just got to clean this up. Won't be too bad. DNT, dude. Let's go. All right. So all of these are done. I just have to start working on the interior now. So let's go and start getting these levels done. So I'm going to go and start with yellow because it's a little brighter. We're going to go and take out this section because this is where they get up at. And we got to float down. We're going to go down. Actually, um, I think we're only going to go down like maybe three blocks. We're going to do something. Actually, we got to go four because it's going to add. Uh, we'll just go four anyway. So that's one, two, three, four. Here, we're going to do the 15 again. So we're going to do edit flat wool yellow 15. There we go. We're going to get rid of these walls because this is our observatory area, just like the real Doom Spire. And we're going to put some glass in these. Everything else is going to stay solid. All right. So all of these are done. I just need to do glass now. All right. So all of the glass is in. That looks really cool. So you can actually see inside. Now what we need to do is a couple of ramps. So we need like a couple ways to get it in and out. All right. Finally, we got to do the stairs and the floors, which I'm not excited about, but we got to get done. So let's go ahead and jump straight to it. I'm just going to go ahead and skip past all this so you don't have to watch it. All right. So that was like, that was like two hours of nonstop building. This was probably one of the biggest builds I've ever done in Bed Wars. And I hope it pays off. So here's what I'm going to do though. I was thinking about it. Actually, I need to fix this. Um, I was thinking about it. What we're going to do is I'm going to give people TNT as well as fireballs. And the reason for that, if you are familiar with Doomspire Brick Battle, part of it is about going to your enemy's base and just going straight down and just TNT or bombing everything you can see. Like that is so fun to do. So that's kind of what I'm going to try to do here is make it so people can go and pile up. So I'll give everyone TNT and see what happens. All right. So this is done though. I'm excited. So let's go ahead and save this map. So it should work. Um, I'm going to go ahead and save another slot just in case. But I believe believe if you go here, you can edit map save. Uh, I guess not. So yeah, this is the best way to go. So map three, we're going to put Doomspire. We're going to make it public save. All right, let's go and make it. <laughs> They're all Doomspire. All right, so I set it for 24 players for now. I think, I don't think we're going to get that many. Not at this hour. So let's try like 16. All right, so we're going to put no bed breaking, no block breaking. I don't know if block breaking actually works when you have TNT. We're going to test that out. PvP is going to be on. Team switching's technically on. We're going to allow fireballs and TNTs and no regular swords is fine. Let's disable those. Actually, there's no generators on this map. I forgot. All right, looks like there's one more spot on green. Nice. Look at this one spot on red. All right, we're going to turn off team switching. All right, our teams are full. Let's go. Okay, so apparently you can fireball. That's good to know. That's good to know. Okay, we need to get up here. Ouch, dude. We need to get up fast. Someone, I think someone died. They're like fireball, please. Oh, here we go. <laughs> oh, get wrecked, green. Okay, I'm going in. I'm going in, dude. Oh, they killed.
killed me. Oh man, I gotta get back up. I gotta get back up. If we lose our stairs, I can't go anywhere. Dude, this is so much fun. Oh yeah, there's anti-cheat. All right, I just disabled anti-cheat. Oh man, they're trying to break our base so bad. Oh, someone just died. Oh no. Oh no, <laughs> dude, that's so wicked. So I'm just giving everyone 10 of each. That's what I keep doing. Actually, what I'm gonna do. Oh no, I just fell again. All right, all right, we should be good. <laughs> get wrecked. Oh no. Oh, I'm about to die. No. All right, I need to get up these stairs, dude. So we need a better way to give people items. Like it'd be cool if the game just like, gave you like, um, I want to see if the devs have a, oh, get out of here, dude. This guy TNT in my base. Bro, guys TNT in my base. I can't get up. No, I can't get up. Okay, okay. I know what to do. Oh, no. No. Dang it, dude. They keep bullying me. All right. <laughs> this is ridiculous, dude. This is ridiculous. This is hilarious, dude. <laughs> oh, no. Come on. <laughs> They're all like, this is not funny. Dang it, dude. I got him, though. Come on. I just died from magma. No, I'm getting out of here. No. Come on. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. All right. We got to set it so that people die, like, after first death. I mean, the gen... I mean, the, the game should be ending pretty soon. No, no, don't. No, dude. Okay, here we go. Here we go. I'm breaking beds. No. I think I just lost. Am I respawning? Dude, this is so messed up. No, dude. Why are beds not broken yet? Oh, beds are breaking in 10 seconds. Oh, I died. I died. Oh, I knocked someone though, I think. GG's. Let's see what happens. This is a great map, by the way. Oh, they like the map. Cool. Yeah, we need a, we need a way to um, replenish easily. Dang it. Green one. Green one, man. No. They said yes. All right, I'm going to switch to my main account now. All right, so you can see this is a free cam view of the map. It's pretty crazy, right? Look at this. We did it, dude. All right, so we're going to give everyone the same stuff again. But this time, what I'm going to do is I think I'm going to observe this match. So let's observe. Let's go spectate. That way, I can just kind of keep res resupplying people. All right, here we go. Oh, man, look at this. Now, one thing I got to fix is um, there's no entrance currently into your base. So you kind of have to TNT it or fireball it, which is kind of problematic. That's not what I want. But hey, we're going to launch it with this. We'll release the map with this and then I'll update it later. Dude, look at this guy TNT, dude. Let's see him TNT. You got to go down. Oh, he's TNT. Oh, no. That's messed up. Oh, he's going down. Oh, he's breaking their he's breaking their stairs. Gave everyone stuff. Okay. MC Raven cleared him out. Oh, I love this. I love seeing the TNT. This is so funny. I should just only give them TNT, but it wouldn't be as fun. Look at this guy, dude. <laughs> dude, this is hilarious. They totally messed up their stairs. They can't even... Blue can't even get up anymore. They got completely disabled. And of course, they're camping this area. I gotta fix this so you can't just kind of, you know, I don't like that they can keep spamming each other like that. It's kind of lame. I might fix that before I release. In fact, I'm gonna fix this before I release the map. But even so, this is hilarious. This guy's barely hanging on. Greed is barely hanging on. Oh, that guy just got worked. Oh no, where are they going? Oh, dude, rip. <laughs> yeah, see, they're just spamming the spawn. I gotta fix that. Oh, that guy just yeeted into the void. Yeah, green can't do anything. They're kind of stuck. They can't break blocks either. They're trying to. I should let them. I should actually let them. I'm gonna let them. I just gave them, I gave them the ability to to um, build. The only problem is they can get across to people, but that's fine. Oh, he just fireballed over to their base. He's spawn camping them now. He thought he could actually break their bed. <laughs> Rip. Oh, he went straight in the magma. So I'm letting him, I'm letting him build. I think that's a smart thing to do is just let people build and break. I don't see any problem with that. The only thing, like I said, we need to have is like, if the devs can give us like a default config for like what should be in someone's inventory, that'd be sweet. He's trying to TNT. Oh my gosh. I just gave them all a hundred fireballs. I'm tempted to give everyone carrot cannons just to see the chaos, but I don't want to ruin it. That'd be so messed up. Oh, oh, he just fell. Yeah, they're they're in trouble. I just gave everyone grass. Now they can build. <laughs> Look at this guy. Look at the build, dude. <laughs> Rip, dude. Oh, he's dead. He's dead. There's nothing he can do. Oh, no, dude. Green is gone. Red won. Red tryhards. Bunch of tryhards. <laughs> so I clearly have some issues on the map, but pretty minor. Honestly, they seem to enjoy it. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to fix it so people can't just kind of spam fireballs at the beds over and over. I'm also going to fix the entrance. Everything else is pretty good, in my opinion. Um, also, as far as map config settings, if you're going to do this on your own and play like a 4v4v4v4 with your friends, what I would advise is just set up, um, set the settings so that you have team overflow none. Obviously, fill your teams to 4v4v4v4. Um, turn off bed breaking unless you really want someone to like fireball over to your bed and break it. Um, I would also leave block breaking on so they can build still. And there's no store on this map, so you don't have to disable anything other than kits. Um, the only down downside to this. The only downside is that you are going to have to give them items, okay? So you could potentially just like let everyone have co-host and just trust that they're only going to spawn in fireballs and TNT for themselves. I don't really trust that. I think most people don't can't control themselves when they have that command, you know, or access. So what I would do is just keep every every now and then just give people items. That way they have stuff to go with. Or just say, you know, you, you only get, give them like a hundred at first and first person to die loses their items or something. And then they got to use swords and pickaxe or something, but that's not as fun. So I don't know. We got to figure that out with the devs. I'll, I'll, I'll talk to the devs and see if there's some way to solve
evolve this gameplay because it'd be really cool to do this. Anyway, thanks so much for watching. If you want to play with this map yourself, one way you can do so is by checking out the code in the description below. I will include it. You can also check out my spawn commands document. It's a spreadsheet. I will include that in the description as well. That's where you can find all the different map codes that I've created. So I have a separate tab there. The third tab says um, custom maps. Also, I will be reviewing soon some custom maps created by the community on my Discord, like I said, discord.gg slash dvplays. If you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you all in the next vid. Peace.